Delaware of One, welcome to the prayer to destroy every evil against your life. I am Evangelist Fernando Perez, and welcome to my prayer channel. Today, I am praying for your deliverance in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 17 and verse 18, the righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them, and he delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and he saves those who are crushed in his spirit. Amen. So let us pray. I would encourage you right now to find a quiet place. I want you to give your full attention to God as we pray. I believe with all my heart that many of you will receive healing and deliverance. The heaven is going to leave you. The oppression is going to leave you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory and all the praise for this awesome opportunity, for this amazing time of prayer. Father God, I thank you for every brother and sister to the sound of my voice. I pray that your anointing will touch each and every one of them. I pray for the anointing that breaks every yoke. Your word says that the anointing destroys the yoke, breaks the yoke. And so I pray for your anointing to touch my brother, my sister. I am praying for those who are battling, those who are suffering under the grip of the enemy, those who are in need of deliverance and healing. I pray today as I stand in agreement with my brother and my sister, that a fresh anointing will touch this man and this woman and destroy and remove all works of evil against their lives for the glory of Jesus Christ. Now, my brother and my sister, lift up your hands to heaven and begin to lift up the areas in your life that you need deliverance, that you need healing. Let's pray in agreement right now. Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, I stand with my brother and my sister right now. And the first prayer that I pray with them today is the prayer to break evil oppression. Everyone to the sound of my voice under a demonic oppression, those who are under a spiritual attack, those who are battling with oppression. I pray in the name of Jesus for the anointing, Lord God, to break the oppression. I command every spirit of discouragement, everyone who are living under this heavy discouragement, Father God, they feel that this thing is stronger than them. Lord God, they feel this thing is trying to kill them. This thing is trying to destroy their lives, this heaviness, this oppression. I say, in Jesus' name, I come and leave them. Right now, in the name of Jesus, as a minister of the gospel, called by God to minister deliverance to the captives, I rebuke the spirit of discouragement. I say, loose them right now, in Jesus' name, I command, come out of them. By the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus, I break the spirit of discouragement. I command discouragement, evil oppression that this man, this woman is under. Every discouragement, every demonic spirit, every evil power that is causing discouragement in this person's life. I say, in Jesus' name, loose them. Loose them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, those who are dealing with insecurity, those who are dealing with fear, those who are dealing, Lord God, with low self-esteem, with suicidal thoughts, I command in the name of Jesus, leave them. I speak freedom to this person. Father God, I pray that you raise this person, Lord God, out of this place of defeat. I pray, Father God, that you raise them up to walk in the anointing, to walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, I thank you because you have an amazing plan and a purpose for this person. You did not create this person to walk in defeat. You did not create this person to walk, Lord God, in, in this sorrow, in this oppression. Lord God, there's a better life. And I pray that you break every yoke of bondage, every demonic oppression. I say, loose them right now in Jesus' name. I command to come out of them. Every demonic oppression, every spirit of heaviness, every demonic fatigue, and this heavy weight that is upon them, that is upon their shoulders, I say, in Jesus' name, loose them. Loose them in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray now for those who are under the spirit of heaviness, every spirit of despair, the spirit 
the spirit of sorrow. Father God, I am praying with people today that they've been living their lives, Lord God, in this place of sorrow and despair. It seems that nothing good happens in their lives. Lord God, they are under this cloud of oppression. I say, in Jesus' name, I command heaviness, a spirit of heaviness, I command to leave them. And I pray for the joy of God. I pray for the joy of the Lord. I pray that you'll fill this man, this woman with the joy, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I take authority against the spirit of heaviness and I command this thing to leave them right now. Father God, I pray, touch them. I command depression, come out of them. A spirit of depression, I command to leave them. Every spirit that is crushing this man, this woman, I say, in Jesus' name, come out of them. Father God, in the name of Jesus, this spirit of depression cannot stay. The more the spirit resists, I pray, Lord God, increase your fire. Lord God, destroy the spirit of depression. Destroy the spirit of despair. Destroy, Lord God, this heaven, this weight that is upon this person, Lord God. This demonic cloud of hopelessness that is hovering your people. I pray that you set them free. I pray, Lord God, for the freedom that comes from your presence. I pray that you fill them with hope. Lord God, where there's depression, I pray that you give them hope. Where there's despair, I pray that you give them a vision. I pray that you give them clarity. I pray, Father God, that you fill your people with hope for such a time as this. Father God, I pray, touch them. My brother, my sister, receive a fresh anointing from God. Come on, receive, lift up your hands. This thing leaves you. Every covenant, Every alliance that you have made with the, with the enemy, let it go in Jesus' name. Every word that you've been speaking, some of you, your greatest enemy is your own words. You keep cursing yourself. You keep declaring evil against your own life, against your future. And so right now, renounce every cursing word that you have spoken to your future, into your present situation. Come on, come out of agreement with this thing in Jesus' name. Every spirit of heaviness, this depression, this sadness that is in your life, command this thing to leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, Father God, as my brother and my sister, they renounce, they repent, they let it go. I pray that you fill them with hope. I pray, Lord God, let hope come upon your people. Fill them, Lord God, with greatness. Fill them, Lord God, with strength. I pray for divine strength. I pray, Lord God, for the peace of God upon your people. Now, Father God, I pray, I take authority over every word curse. This person that is living under a word curse, Lord God, word curses that came from family members, that came from close friends, that came from enemies, that came from co-workers. Lord God, every word curse that is affecting this person at any level, I say in Jesus' name. Lord God, your word says that the words of the reckless pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. As I pray with my brother and my sister, I pray that you'll bring healing to their lives. I pray, Lord God, that you'll remove the burdens. I pray that you'll remove the oppression. I pray that you'll remove all the legal rights of the enemy to attack them. I pray that you'll break every quarrel, every gateway, every open door, every word curse. Every demonic word that became a snare to this person, I say, in Jesus, and loose them. For those who are victims of generational curses, those who are living under a generational curse that came from the mother's side of family, that came from the father's side of family, every generational bondage, every open door, everything that the enemy is using to torment this person, to keep them in bondage, I sing Jesus' mighty name. Every generational thing that is affecting this person that came through the DNA, that came through the bloodline, that came from the father's side of family, the mother's side of family, every familiar spirit, Every ancestral spirit, I say, in Jesus' name, loose them, out of them. 
out of them. Leave them. Leave right now. Father God, I pray, crush, destroy every unclean spirit that is keeping this person in bondage. Everything that came from both sides of the family. Every cycle of failure, cycles of defeat. Lord God, every spirit of poverty, the spirit of lack, every, Lord God, witchcraft, Lord God, every dysfunction, this person that is dealing, Lord God, with all kinds of problems, with all kinds of undealt issues from previous Lord God, family members and, and family, Father God, everything, every open door, every pact, every covenant with the kingdom of darkness, Lord God, that was made, that was done, Lord God, years and years ago, that is still affecting this person in any level, I say in Jesus' name, come out of them. Come out of them. Every spirit that keeps them in bondage. Familiar spirits. Monitoring spirits. Spirits, Lord God, that is still affecting and fighting against this person. Father God, your word is very clear in the book of Ephesians. Lord God, that we do not fight, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but it's against principalities and powers. Father God, it is against the works of Satan and his demons. And so I pray that every spirit that is affecting this person, every bondage, every unclean spirit that got a hold, that got a grip of this person, I say, look them right now. I command come out of them. A spirit, familiar spirits, listen to my voice. I break your power. I call fire from heaven to destroy every word curse, every generational curse that came from both sides of the family. I say, in Jesus' name, loose them. Loose this person in the name of Jesus. Every door that is locked, Every door that is shut, every door that needs to open for this person, Lord God, to walk in victory. I pray that you open the doors. I pray that you break every cycle of failure, every cycle of defeat. Lord God, this feeling that they were born to die in the wilderness, to die, Lord God, in the desert, I break, Lord God, this thing. I pray that you lift this weight, this feeling that they're going to die in the wilderness. Call them to live a victorious life, to walk into their promise, into the promised land. And so I pray, Lord God, that you break every yoke, that you break every snare of Satan, that you destroy every evil that is affecting them. I command come out of them. Heaviness, every spirit of heaviness, every spirit that is fighting against this person, every network of demons that receive the assignment from hell to keep this person in bondage, I say in Jesus' name, leave them. Leave them right now in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Come out. Loose them. Loose your hold. Loose your power. Everyone, Lord God, that is in need of healing. Lord God, those who are suffering, those who are broken in the inside. Lord God, those who are so traumatized because of problems in life, because all these battles that they have faced, because all these trials and tribulations, this person, Father God, that's in need, Lord God, of, of a fresh touch from heaven. I pray that you'll touch them. I pray that you'll raise them for such a time as this. I pray, Lord God, for victory. I pray for your blessings. I pray, Father God, for your breakthrough upon this person. I ask you that you break every witchcraft. Those who are dealing with witchcraft, those who are dealing, Father God, with every type of witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, santeria, macumba, Lord God, every voodoo, every work of the devil. I pray for those who are involved with witchcraft, those who are involved, Lord God, with occultism, those who are involved, Lord God, with the kingdom of Satan. Lord God, they are suffering now because they are saved and the devil can don't leave them alone. I pray that you break every works of the devil. I pray, Father God, that you set them free. Every witchcraft, every heaviness, I say, in Jesus' name, come out of them. Loose them in Jesus' name. Leave them by the blood of Jesus. I break your power. I say, loose them out of them. Leave this person alone in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you'll fill them with the Holy Spirit. They need that power of the Holy Spirit to, Lord God, to raise them for such a time as this. I pray that you deliver, that you heal them. And I pray that you fill them with the Holy Spirit. I pray that you fill them with power. I pray that you fill them, Lord God, with a special anointing from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. 
Watch your people. Bless your people. Father God, and now I pray that every closed door, every door that is closed, every door that needs to open for this person, I pray that you go before them. I pray that you open the doors. I pray that you make a way. I pray, Father God, that you show this person the way to victory. I pray that you show them the way to succeed in their Christian walk. I pray, Father God, that you bless them, that they'll become fruitful Christians. I pray, Lord God, that, that they will walk the walk. Lord God, I pray that they will walk on the narrow path, the path that leads to eternal life. I pray, Father God, that you break every lie of the enemy. I pray, Lord God, that you touch them in the realm of the mind, in all the battles in the realm of the mind, all the torment in the realm of the mind, every tormenting spirit, everything that torments their mind. Lord God, with all kinds of lies, unbeliefs, doubts, every double mind, the spirit of double minds, confusion, I say in Jesus' name, loose them by the blood of Jesus. Father, I bless my brother, my sister. I thank you for what you're doing. I pray, Heavenly Father, let them go free. Let them live a life of victory. Let them live a life that glorifies your name. Father God, I pray, let every one of them be completely free, be completely delivered for the glory of your name. Come on, my brother, my sister, lift up your hands to heaven. Lift up your hands to heaven and begin to praise God for your freedom. Freedom is coming upon you right now. Deliverance is coming upon you right now. God is breaking the yoke. God is breaking the chains. I can hear the sound of chains breaking right now. I can hear the sound of demonic chains breaking off you in Jesus' name. I can see that generational curse breaking off your life right now in Jesus' name. I can see that familiar spirit that's been in your life for years leaving in Jesus name I declare freedom to your life I declare victory to your life I declare that you're coming out of this misery I declare that you're coming out of this bondage I declare that every stronghold is coming down every stronghold everything that keeps you in defeat everything that keeps you in failure everything that keeps you in this life of bondage and setback I say in Jesus' name, every demonic setback, every spirit, Lord God, of setback and delays and oppression, I say, go in Jesus' name. Every evil against this person, I say, loose in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I speak freedom to my brother, my sister. I speak deliverance to my brother, my sister. I Pray, Heavenly Father, feel them. Come on, receive that precious anointing from heaven. Receive the anointing that makes you free. The Bible says, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And so receive that freedom from heaven. Receive the freedom. Every shackle is broken. Every hopelessness is broken. Every heaven is upon you, is gone. Receive the freedom. Receive the peace. The peace that comes from heaven. I release the peace of God. I release the blessings of God. I release the anointing of God upon your life. The anointing that makes you well. The anointing that breaks the bondage and raises you to be the man, the woman that God created you to be. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. I bless you to walk in newness of life. I bless you to walk in victory. Victory belongs to you. I prophesy victory belongs to you. You will walk in victory. You will walk in newness of life. You will walk in the will of God. I bless you to walk in victory for the glory of God. If you believe, raise your hands to heaven and say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Set me free. Deliver me. Empower me with the Holy Spirit and raise me up for such a time as this. Say, dear God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you that you forgive me of all my sins. Wash me clean. Raise me up. Empower me to live a life that glorifies your name. 
I surrender my life to you. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, what a great joy. Take a deep breath and receive a fresh touch from heaven. Receive peace in the inside. Receive peace in your heart. Receive peace in your life. In the name of Jesus, I bless you and I bless you. Praise God, my brother, my sister, what a great joy. I know that God is doing something powerful, something beautiful in your life today. Amen. It's been a great joy, a great honor to pray and to stand with you again. If you are blessed by this time of prayer, would you please do me a big favor? Would you share this video with your friends and family? Subscribe to my prayer channel. Like this video. Comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.